YouTube, it's Leonora Cresta and today I'm back again with another video. So for today's video I filmed this gorgeous look featuring Huda Beauty's brand new eyeshadow palette, Desert Dust. So today I'm going to be reviewing, giving you my first impression and also an eye tutorial so you guys can see exactly how it sits, how it wears, how it applies and so on. So first thing first, subscribe. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I will talk about more of the packaging and everything else in the next clip. But yeah, other than that, enjoy this video. Very first had a be eyeshadow palette. So I'm super excited. I'm a little bit nervous as well because obviously like in the beauty community there's been a little one or two shades and little bad reviews on certain companies I should have had it but I've heard nothing but good reviews on the Huda Beauty palettes and eyeshadow palettes and the quality and the texture has been positive this far so hopefully I will enjoy it and I will love it and it will just show true to colour on my complexion when I did YouTube search um, Huda Beauty Desert Dust reviews it literally only had fairer and like white beauty bloggers doing a review on it so it was really interesting for me and I'm really excited to see how it will look on my complexion how this palette would cater for a dark skin system but again thank you Huda Beauty for sharing this with me and sending me this palette via PR I really appreciate it I don't think I have to mention this but I will like obviously i'm not paid for this youtube video like people that know me and follow me know that i only pretty much post or do what i want to do i'll be like nah that's not me so everything in this video is going to be my views and my views alone my opinions and so on so let's get started like first impressions this is what the pr package comes like absolutely beautiful this is what i would want my pr package to look like if i was to ever make an eyeshadow palette an image of me will have my name on it you open it is more huda like yes slaying um let me just take this out of the box i'm sorry guys but look at the box it has like sand she really went in i really love this palette i think it, i mean this PR package I think it's really cute it's still prestige and it's really like I don't know like Moroccan Dubai like I love that style it's very Huda and it's very true to her um and then this is what the palette looks like so I'm sure like if you guys was to purchase it off Sephora or like her website this is what you guys will get so it's a nice beautiful palette um let me just open it up So you open it up, again it's the image of Huda Beauty, so, ooh, gorgeous, and then ooh, when you open it, there's like a little protector of her eyes, which is really gorgeous. So this is the eyeshadow palette, oh my gosh you guys can see my messy room the mirror this is the eyeshadow palette oh look here's an image of me that's jokes okay <laughs> here's the eyeshadow palette you've got a nice little mirror which is great for when you're traveling and everything else so we've got 18 shades so 18 shades and so it's eight battery mattes six pressed pearls three duochrome toppers and one daring glitter so it's a nice little combination like my like just looking at this palette i'm already in love with it like i love the colors i feel like all the colors will complement my complexion and skin tones like even the paler colors over here i would definitely use that to like soften out any to soften out any eyeshadows to set my concealer like i like to apply concealer on my lips before i apply eyeshadows so i'll definitely set it with the desert sand um so far like I'm just in love with like Cosmo, Twilight, Nefeti and I'm really really liking these colours like Blazing, with that Saffron, Oud, Amber. These are shades I've always really wanted to try but I've never really gone to it because I thought oh maybe it won't show up on my complexion, it won't show up on my skin but let's try these colours out. I have no idea what I want to go for today, I don't know what I want to try. But I'm definitely warming up towards these for like the matte, so amber and like blazing and so on. I'm not gonna go crazy. 
I think I'm gonna end up going for like a, I don't know, maybe a Cosmo on the lid. Cause it's a gorgeous like glittery pearl. Ooh, Vetro Grande, grade. <laughs> I was like Grande. <laughs> I always make up my own, like I see something and then my brain puts whatever else together. But I think it's gonna be a Cosmo, Amber Cosmo blazing type of look. Because, only because I always do golds and then you guys always like, you always do golds even though you look gorgeous in there, but can you try something else? So I'm gonna try Cosmo. So yeah, let's get started. So to begin with, I'm just gonna place Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in 6.5 on my lids. Now that I've placed the concealer on my lids, I'm gonna pick up the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna use Desert Sand to set my concealer. So I'm just gonna pick it up with the MAC 217 blending brush. So yeah, the eyeshadow seems to be like picking up really decent. Obviously it's a white brush, so you can't really see the product on it. Okay, so now I'm going, ooh, which one should I start with? I think I want to start with Blazing, Blazing Squad. So yeah, it's under a brush all right, I guess. So let's just try it. Okay. So I'm definitely going to have to sweep up more product. Okay, so when you get a bit more product on your brush, the colour seems to be coming on much more. Okay, so this, this is just the orange on my eyelids. And if you look at the palette, it still looks quite clean, even though I was taking quite a bit of product to sort of make the orange show on my complexion. I do love a good orange, because especially on a dark skin, I feel like the orange just, um, what does it do? It sort of cools it down, because sometimes I feel like when you go straight in with the browns, and so when you can look a bit ashy, so the orange, just like let's say you, it's like a color corrector, but in an eyeshadow for me. So I find I love a good orange. Started off with an orange, I feel like it just makes the eyeshadow, whatever else you put on it, just so much more. If that makes sense. So yeah, I feel much want to use the same brush. I want to pick up amber, which is this color. So amber's right. Actually, wait, no, I'm gonna take a different brush. I'm gonna pick up amber. Okay, so amber straight away is so much, it's really, really bright, like very pigmented. The amber next to the orange makes the orange stand out so much more. It looks like, it looks like a whole like it just looks like a stronger orange on my complexion. But it's not bad because I feel like if I'm going for like a coppering type of look, it would just complement it, complement it all. So this is like amber and blazing together. I definitely do feel like, let's say if the shape the two shades was tried on on like a lighter complexion you will see more of a bit of a transitioning color but on my skin tone it definitely has sort of merged and blended all in together but it's still really nice because again i'm going for like a copper and type of tone and even after i haven't put that on haven't put on the amber i kind of want to try on blood moon i might try them together with um 
Cosmo. So I'm just gonna apply Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer again over my lids just so when I apply the eyeshadow on my lid I have something to hold on to and something to really just stick onto. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to apply Blood Moon. Okay. So the pigmentation of this eyeshadow is really gorgeous. Like there's no dropouts, nothing is falling off. Which is quite surprising. Like I actually expected like a little certain but nothing. Okay, so that's Blood Moon on my lids. I definitely do want to create a bit more of a transition, so I'm going to try this Oud colour. Oud? Oud. I think it's Oud. O U D. Oud. Oud, Oud, Oud. I'm going to pick up with my Morphe brush, my M506. I'm just going to see how it looks because it looks really dark, like. But on camera, it probably looks really light, so. So I'm just gonna place Oud just in the middle between Blood Moon and Amber. Okay, so I'm gonna apply NYX eyeliner. So I wanted to make my eyes really like, well my eyes look really like, you know, sexy and sultry and like very hooder. Cool. This mirror is amazing by the way. I'm just letting you guys know since I'm doing a full review, you know what I mean? Um I feel like I wanna add I still wanna add Cosmo on top of Blood Moon. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, oh yeah, it's actual proper glitter. Can you guys see it? Okay, so let's see how that sticks. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm happy now. I'm happy now. Okay. For eyelashes, I'm going to be using Huda Beauty's eyelashes in Noel. Okay, so I think I'm almost done with the eyes. I just quickly want to do my concealer and do my face and then just add one more thing in the eyes just to enhance it and bring out the colours. But other than that, so far I'm really happy with the application of this um, eyeshadow palette. Like, if you look at it, it still looks really nice and neat. But I think that's also because I'm genuinely a tidy person. Like, I've got OCD. The only thing that basically, like, was a little bit messy was the Cosmo, but that's because that's actual uh, daring glitter. 
but other than that no the eyeshadow application has been really nice smooth and easy the mirror is really handy i used this mirror throughout the eye tutorial and yeah so i'm just gonna quickly finish off my face add like my concealer my contour and everything else and then i will give you guys the full review and my opinion of it but so far tis for it is well When you apply your concealer and everything else just makes everything feel so much ah it's like the whole eye makeup look just comes alive so i'm just finishing blending my concealer just gonna quickly bake with the sasha and then like go back to my eyes i don't want to like focus this tutorial too much on my face and everything else because i've got a video dedicated to that and you guys can check it out you know, to bake with, I'm actually going to use the Matte Loose Face Powder by Sasha rather than the Buttercup just to like smoothen things over and make things a bit quicker. To contour with, I'm going to be using my Sleek Makeup Contouring and Blush Palette in Dark. Using the tip of the brush I actually just contoured with, I'm just going to sweep off the axis back and because it's a loose powder so it literally like sets and doesn't leave any flashbacks or anything and it just makes it like a nice little smooth, just like a nice little smooth finish, I like it. For highlight, my favourite MAC Shaft of Gold, of course. I've done my highlight contour everything we can get back to the eyes but even i don't know i'm feeling myself i feel like every time i do my face i'm just like oh my god i'm back it's me again hello it's me again so right now what i'm doing i'm just cleaning it up i like going over my eyeshadow especially like the crease bit and the matte bit so just adding a bit more of the orange and like i really feel like now that i've done everything else 
the whole eye look has just come together like i'm seeing a transition more between oud oud and amber and blazing i'm gonna add a bit more of oud just in the middle again between blood moon and blazing just so you can see that little transition a bit more yeah okay so i'm quickly just gonna put some eyeliner underneath my eyes some mascara and then i will do my lips and then i will give you guys my final and ultimate review okay so for lips i'm just gonna quickly just line my lips with a black pencil because that is my trick for like the perfect nude to get the perfect brown use a mac chestnut Suzanne Trendsetter by Huda Beauty. Mmm. This smells lovely. Oh my god, this color's so nice. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is the finished look and my final verdict is this palette is a beautiful palette when I saw it I thought this palette is gorgeous and um, like it literally is a match fallout so there was no fallout on my skin it did blend really nicely um I definitely do say it's caters for all skin tones like looks great on me so okay that have um the only thing I would say is for like these colours you definitely do need to like press on it a little bit more but other than that I'm really happy with the application I'm just can't wait to create more colours and mo create more colours I can't wait to create more looks using these colours in this palette so comment down below what you think about this palette comment down below if you like this look make sure you follow me on instagram twitter and snapchat let's be friends but yeah let me know how you find this palette if you like it and if you don't let me know why like let me know let me know